everybody, welcome to Drawing of Waffles. Today I'm going through another Scrawler box. Scrawler box is a box of art supplies that you purchase a subscription for and you get one every single month. They are, one thing I do want to mention is that they are a UK based um, subscription service. So I would recommend them a lot more if you live on that side of the ocean. Anyway, we're going to open this up. If you want to get your own subscription to Scrawler box, I'll have a link in the description. There it goes. <laughs> And here we have it. This one's a big one. Sometimes they're like smaller and they've got the little art supplies in there, but this one is massive. So let's see what's inside. All right, so we've got some paints in here of acrylic paints and they're in the standard series. Are they all that way? I always have to double check because sometimes stuff looks the same, but it's not. Okay, so we've got four colors. We've got it in the color lamp black, nickel titan yellow, vermilion, and raw sienna. Raw sienna is a color I use a lot, so I'm always happy when I see one of those. We've also got a Scrawler Box sticker. Uh, the candy of the month is a heart-shaped, fruit-flavored, boiled sweet. That is a long description for a sucker. <laughs> We've also got a Toma Art acrylic marker. So it's acrylic paint, but in a marker. I am always really messy when it comes to paint. So if you can stick it in a marker, I will not complain. This looks like a mechanical pencil. It's also got an eraser on the back and a pump action, just like Buzz Lightyear. They've also supplied us with Sea White of Brighton artist quality brushes. I would assume to use with our paint. Each box always comes with a list of the items so you can read more about them. And also with a special challenge word to try to draw a picture. If we dig deeper into here, we'll see this awesome origami bird illustration, which is wicked. This is really pretty, I like this. The featured artist this month is Anatomics. Wow, she's really getting stuff done, that's awesome. If you really like this art like I do, you can check out www.anatomics.com. And she did that with acrylic paints. Did she do it on wood? I think she did it on wood. Oh, that's cute. Is this a palette? Use this palette to mix your paints, but don't use the brushes to blend them. Cut the corner off the sheet and use those to create your own colors. Oh, so you cut this off. That's kind of cute. I should cut a hole in it too so I can hold it. <laughs> and then the paper that comes this month is this really sturdy, Bristol board by the look of it. It's very thick and not very wobbly and it has an awesome texture to it. So using all of this, oh I've made a mess. <laughs> and this is everything that comes with the box. This is a lot of stuff. This feels like a really hefty box. Anyway, so using the challenge word new beginnings, we have to create something on one of these pieces of papers using these art supplies. Let's give it a shot. Okay, now that I've put down the necessary protective measures, <laughs> um, I'm going to get everything ready here and we are going to start drawing something first with the pencil. And I have an idea. These colors remind me of sunflowers. I know sunflowers are usually in the fall, so they're not really a new beginning, but when I think of flowers and sunflowers, sun, the sun rises in the morning, which is a new beginning, and a sunflower starts with the word sun. So, good enough for me, eh? <laughs> All right, let's get sketching. I'm gonna draw something with a sunflower, but I'm starting with a head. I think I wanted to make that bigger, actually. This is a nice, soft pencil. It's really making a pretty dark line, even though I'm pressing really lightly, which scares me. But it comes with an eraser, so we should be fine. Why is that car beeping? How many times do you need to lock your car? <clears throat> okay. You done? Neighbors. Ah. Seriously. Happy. So happy. Okay, so what I wanted to do is draw the sunflower blocking their face. Let's just draw a bunch of petals. From my experience of drawing sunflowers, the longer and skinnier you make the petals, the better it tends to look. And all, not all sunflower petals look exactly the same. And some like will go over and on top of each other. Like one could go like this. And then this one would go underneath. See? And then not to mention the other layer of them. Which tends to go in between, but sometimes they're in other places. I don't want to put too much detail into this sunflower because it's going to be painted but we'll do our best. 
eyelashes. What's the center of a flower called? I feel like I've learned this. <sighs> but that's what I'm drawing, that part of the flower. <laughs> Got a lot of detail to that, because I like that's my favorite part, is how bumpy and giant this part of the flower is. I've been drawing eyebrows. I really enjoy drawing teeth. I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but I went through a phase where I was obsessed with drawing teeth and I couldn't stop. There was nothing I could do. I'm thinking I'm having this idea where I'm gonna draw her all in pencil and only the flower is gonna be colored in paint. So I want her to be pretty detailed with the pencil. That is my plan currently. So we'd have to add shading underneath the flower. Add a body. Why don't we add a body? She needs some kind of hair. But I don't want it to distract from the rest of the picture, so I think I'll keep it really simple. Heh, <laughs> looks creepy right now. I'd be using a kneaded eraser because I hate the mess of erasers. And pencil shavings everywhere. Something I need to practice is drawing detailed hair. I think it's something I'm not very good at. I'm never really happy with the way that looks. So that's something I would like to practice. Probably should put some detail into this finger here. Or these hands, actually. She should probably wear some kind of shirt. I'm thinking a turtleneck would be kind of fun. Yeah. I don't think I'll need much because the flower I drew is really quite tiny. Raw sienna, some vermilion. I always thought vermilion was a little bit more redder than that. At least in the other set I had. I don't know. And some black, or what they call it, lamp black. I should have drawn a bumblebee. <laughs> and we also have that black marker. I don't know how much black I'm gonna need. Grab some of that. Grab some of that yellow. Start adding that here. Oh, look at that. It's smudging around the pencil a little. But we might be able to use that to our advantage. If I am smart. But we'll find out. So I went with the next color down brush. <laughs> or the next size down brush and I grabbed some of the raw sienna. And I'm just adding it before it's too dry so I can sort of smudge them together without having to do too much uh, color mixing beforehand, at least. Okay. I'm liking that so far, but I think I need to mix some of these two colors, so I'm going to use my little, my little mixer and grab some uh, of the raw sienna and some of the yellow. And I should have grabbed the yellow first, but it's too late now. I'm going to mix those up. See how that Oh, whoa, brush. Why do I always just chuck brushes? Just a little, not too much. I still want it to be mostly white yellow on the all the petals. Okay, let's go back to my yellow brush. Finish painting some of those. I'm really starting to like acrylic paints. Like that's never something I thought I would ever get into, but they're so much fun. I need to learn how to mix them a little better. <laughs> so far that seems to be the most mm, novice stuff I'm doing. It's just poor mixing. Placing it down and like pulling at the brown. And it sort of drags it with it a little bit. Add some more raw sienna to the center here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over that. <laughs> Forget about it. Let's grab some of this raw sienna and some black and mix those so I can have a darker color. This is more trouble than using the brush to mix, which is probably like frowned upon, but I am not having any luck mixing these. When Bob Ross does it, it looks so easy. Ooh, this looks cool. I'm just using it to like, using this poopy color I mixed. Speckle in some uh, dark colors. 
And then I'll also probably go over in the middle with the yellow as well once it starts drying a little more. actually get a pretty fine line with this pen or marker because of the chisel tip and it's not worn down yet. <laughs> we'll see how it looks by the end of this. Yeah, it needs more petals. Let's just do that. Let's see if it, hopefully it doesn't ruin it. One of these days I'll learn how to draw a sunflower. One of these days. <laughs> Hey, I think that helped. It's a little lopsided. It's, it's got this weird inner... Wait, I can fix that. These are acrylics. That's not that difficult. Just pull it out a little there. I think I was just scared to cover up my beautiful hand that I drew. But, come on. I'll draw another hand some other day. Just make this picture look good. Said Cookie Monster. My plan was to just fill the entire canvas with black. We'll see how that looks. That's my next plan. Let me wash this yellow brush first. I could mix it with this orange color. That way I've used all, oh boy, that's a color. That's a color, isn't it? Not supposed to mix with the brush, but I'm already doing it. Start on the left side of the page because I'm right-handed and just sort of fill it in here. Sometimes I like the texture of the paper when I'm painting and it like misses spots. But sometimes I'm like, no, you have to fill every crack with the paint. I'm just trying to fill this in so that my character stands out a bit more from the page. I absolutely love doing this with digital sketches. So I was like, why don't I do it traditionally too? I actually do do this in my sketchbook sometimes. I do do. Uh, when I'm, I'll use watercolor to separate my sketches from the rest of the page. It's a really fun trick and it really adds some life to your sketchbook. And I recommend 10 out of 10. Yeah, how's it look? I kind of like the way it looks here, but I don't like the way it looks on the camera. That's always a good excuse. <laughs> I really like the contrast of where it's like colored and where it's not, but I really need practice in the traditional area. If I add Eyeliner because that's my favorite thing to draw is eyeliner. I can try and do this without hitting anything else. I don't actually see anything changing. Oh, there it is. I used every single thing in the box this time. Well, except for this puppy. Oh, and this. I should eat this right now. I love suckers. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I used everything but this. So I think I com successfully completed the challenge. I really didn't like when I added that border. If I could somehow like make it a little bit more subtle. Oh, oh, that's helping. What am I doing? That looks good. Oh, I do like that a lot better actually. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have added that border like as soon as I started, but I'd already started. There wasn't really a way to fix it. But now I'm putting in the time to fix it anyway. I should have just filled the whole page with like that dark color to begin with. Cause it's really fun to paint on it. Just keep building it up until it looks kind of good. Or until you make it so bad you want to cry. I'm not sure which one I'm at. <laughs> It looks cool and I'm like smushing out a wet paint. Kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Hey, I'm liking that better anyway. I gotta fix this spot I ruined. That's better. The other parts aren't so lucky. Hey, look at that, look at that. If I could somehow get rid of the other black lines, we'd be really gotten somewhere. Anyone who like knows how to use acrylics, <laughs> they're probably like, eh, my eyes are bleeding. But hey, I like it. So yeah, take that. Anyway, I think I should stop messing with it. <laughs> I think it's at a point where I can only make it worse. So 
I think I'm going to stop here. If I would put the brush down, okay, there we go. That's it. Just ignore these two big mistakes and uh, ignore all the little mistakes and it's pretty good, hey. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you want to get your own Scrawler Box subscription and get supplies mailed directly to your door each and every month, you can check the link in the description and check it out and see if it is something that you might be interested in. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I just see something I wanted to change. <laughs> Are we ever going to end this video? But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys all in next week and I hope you have a very delicious evening. And uh, yeah. Bye. Why am I still doing this? I need to stop. Quit making it worse. You'll only make things worse. Why can't you put the brush down? There. Okay. I'm done. I think. But I still wanna like, I still wanna, I don't know. I don't want to stop. Okay. <laughs>